Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sports on News. I'm Doug Brogan. It's going to be a quick video on two smaller moves that the Bruins hope over time become larger moves for them in Mark McLaughlin and Michael Callahan. Mark McLaughlin, the undrafted guy out of Massachusetts, probably his dream come true would be also went to BC, would be to play for the Boston Bruins. Well, they did sign him now, and the center is going to get to, after having his breakout season with Boston College, at least get an opportunity with the Providence Bruins, and then maybe a cup of coffee, who knows, uh, since he is already a 22-year-old kid. You would think from mature development state, he's not going to need that much time in the AHL, but he might need time to grow his game into the professional level at the AHL. But this kid, uh, he's always was a force on the ice for BC. It's just it didn't translate as much to the goal-scoring output column until this season. The most goals he had was last year in 10 10 goals and 14 assists for 24 points, which was a mini breakout season from last year. But then this year, he jumped off the charts and multituded it by 11, all the way up to 21 goals. So if he's able to be an effective, say, fourth-line, third-line center, that can also add in the 5 to 12 goals a season for you at the NHL level, translating those numbers over and trying to make a prediction there, and even up to 15 goals some years. Well, that's a huge asset to have because... The other thing he also does well, McLaughlin, that he did for BC while watching them some this year, he plays good on both ends of the puck as a center. Actually, he kind of reminds me similarly to somebody. He's not as big as him, but just how he really plays. Well, actually, he kind of is because he's, he's six foot, he's 210. He kind of really is. He kind of reminds me of someone that uh, Colorado was able to co acquire today, which is kind of Nico Stern, where you can Swiss Army knife him throughout the entire lineup, and he's going to play good on both ends. It might not always translate to the point sheet because – the fin everything but the finish was there, whether it was for him or the player on his team that he was able to get the puck across to. But he's always going to have that good play in the offensive zone and good play in the defensive zone. He definitely speaks volumes to me as a guy that, if he can make it to the bigs, will be a guy that is at a fourth line, third line Swiss Army role, kind of like exactly how Nico Sturm was. Now, when it comes to Michael Callahan, he's out of Providence College, a solid just at everything, not great at one thing, but solid at everything lefty defenseman that produced back-to-back 14-point -back seasons after having a breakout passing season in 19 and 20 when he had the 23 assists. He's a guy, though, uh, off of just the stats, he's a guy that, going back to even when he played for the Youngstown Phantoms, it seems like when the moment shines, he'll, he'll, he'll be there and he'll still be performing because those are the types of guys that tend to do that, the guys that play really squeaky clean on both ends, but just don't overly wow you, tend to never get overly fade, where they also, the Bruins, got him for just a seventh round pick with the Arizona Coyotes, so obviously if uh, Michael Callahan's able to turn into anything of a third line level um, defenseman for them, or even just a great defenseman for Providence, they probably won that trade already because you got a great defenseman for your AHL club for a seventh round pick, and you don't always even get great AHL players for seventh round picks, so... Either way, I think that trade for them that happened was a win when they were able to pull off that trade, and now they have him. They are able to sign him after pulling off that trade. Well, we're going to the trade history. That was back on February 22nd. They are able to bring him in now and have him. He's out of Maine, so not too far off uh, from the Bruins. Could have even been a Bruins fan growing up himself. So these might be two guys on top of the fact that they seem like good guys that kept developing and kept growing at a nice, slow, but good, steady pace each year in college, that by the time they're 24, might be able to have a role with you kind of steadily at your NHL level. These are the small guys you have to find on top of those big prospects you find in order to fill out your roster. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a quick video on the Boston Bruins signing Michael Callahan and Mark McLaughlin, the uh, Massachusetts native McLaughlin. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March.